In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create user and computer certificates and enable auto enrollment using server 2019. For those that follow my videos and my content, you'll probably be aware that I did a similar video as well as an article um, around how to do this with server 2012 R2. So this is going to be uh, an updated video using server 2019. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create certificate templates. So to do that, we just go to tools, certification authority. And then in here, we need to go to expand this here and we can see we have certificate templates here so what we'll do is we will um, we've got two here that I've created by default so computer and user so what we'll do is we'll copy um, each of those templates and we'll modify them for what we want so we'll start off with the uh, computer you can see there it just gives you the, the general information for that and likewise with user it gives you the general information uh, for that one as well. So what we want to do is we want to right click on certificate templates and we'll click manage. And then we need to find computer and we need to find user. We'll start off with user and we'll click right click and then duplicate template. click on the generals tab and we'll just give this a new name so we'll give this a name of user modified let's say we can leave the validity period as one year renewal period as six weeks and public certificate in active directory <coughs> that's fine Now if we go to subject name, we can leave the option built from this Active Directory information. So what's this, it's going to take the Active Directory information for, for the users, so it'll take the um, FQDN or fully distinguished name. And we can choose to include the email name in the subject name, and we can include um, as default you've got the email name and you've got the UPN or the user principal name so for the purpose of this demonstration we'll just leave this as it is and then we'll head over now to security and what we want to do is we want to select the relevant user groups uh, for the domain and select the permissions uh, that are relevant as well so just click on domain users and what we're going to do is we'll click auto enroll and we'll also select read as well now we'll click on extensions and while on extensions we now need to go to edit and we can see that we've got a few policies here. So we've got the client authentication, encrypting the file system or EFS, and secure email. So what we want to do is for the user, we want to add in server authentication. So we just click add and then search for server authentication. Select OK, and you can see there now that it adds it into the application policies. So just select OK on that. We can see server authentication is added in now. And then for this demonstration, we should be good uh, with the uh, remaining settings. So we'll just click apply now. OK. And we can see that our modified template here is uh, now created for the user so we'll go ahead and do the same for the computer so we'll just 
click on that right click duplicate template and if we click on general we'll do the same we'll just rename it compute modified we'll leave those settings as they are as default and then for the subject name uh, we will build this from the Active Directory information, so DNS name, and we also need to use the uh, user principal name, so we'll just go ahead and select that. Under security, what we'll do is we will select the relevant group, so in this case it's going to be uh, domain computers, and we need to also enable read on that, as well as auto enroll just as we did with the user oops we're not finished modifying that so we just go to extensions now and again what we want to do is we want to add in server authentication we can see it there anyway so that's um, that's already added so that's good just make sure so yeah if you click edit you can see client authentication and server authentication so we'll just go ahead and leave the rest of the settings as they are um, apply that if you've not already and then OK <coughs> and again we can see now at the bottom we've got computer modified so we've got our two policies that we've created user modified and computer modified now what we need to do is we need to add those certificate templates to the local CA so to do that what we'll do is we'll go back on there so we'll get back to our certificate authority we can see certificate uh, templates and then we'll go to new certificate template to issue and then we'll find our user modified and computer modified can we select both yes we can if you all control and we'll add those in so now you can see that those templates have now been added to the CA at the top of the uh, listing now in regards to certificate templates uh, that's a basic setup obviously depending on your environment you may want to change specific fields within the certificates um, but for this demonstration we have kept it minimal what we will do now is we'll configure the auto enrollment for the certificates uh, for the user and machine templates that we've just created so what we need to do is we need to go now to tools and then we go to group policy management and then you'll get your domain up and then we go so here so we expand the domains uh, so domains in my case networkwizkid.com and then what we're going to do is we're going to in this case modify the default domain policy again in your environment it might be slightly different um, but the process uh, should be the the same so what we want to do is we want to right click on this and then we'll select edit and then we'll start by enabling auto enrollment for the machines so we go to uh, so you can see computer configuration and user configuration so we'll start off with computer configuration and then we'll go to Windows settings, so if you expand policies, Windows settings, then we've got security settings, let's expand that, let's just make this a little bit bigger as well so you can see that, so yeah, computer, uh, computer configurations, expand policies and Windows settings, and then what we need to look for uh, within security settings, That we're in here so within security settings what we need to look for is public key policies so you can see that here 
and we should be able to see certificate services client auto enrollment uh, there we go uh, certificate that, that one certificate services client auto enrollment So if we just double click on that, we can change the configuration configuration model to enabled. And then we'll select renew expired certificates, update pending certificates and remove revoked certificates. And then we can also select update certificates that use certificate templates. We can leave the uh, logging of expiry events to 10% and we don't have to fill in the uh, additional settings. So we just click apply there and we should be good on that front. And then what we need to do now if we just go out of that, we need to do the same for users. So we'll go to policies, window settings, security settings, public key policies and again on here double click on there, we'll enable that we'll also select the same settings as we did, so renew the expired certificates, update pending certificates, so remove revoked certificates update certificates that use templates so we'll do that and we'll leave the remaining settings as they are, so again we'll apply that and we'll select OK on that so that's the all auto enrollment uh, completed, so Theoretically now we should be able to test and confirm that our machines and users uh, are indeed getting uh, certificates. So what we'll do now is we'll verify this. So we'll just create an IDP session to one of the lab computers. Let's just change that. Okay, so we're on the machine now. Um, so what we'll do is we will just get rid of all this. Uh, let's go to the MMC. See if on the machine we can verify the certificates. So in MMC, so we'll just run that. And then what we want to do is we want to um, add a snap in. So file, add or remove snap in. And then we're going to look for certificates. Add that snap in and we're going to add user account. And we can also add in computer account. Just select OK on that. Let's start with the user. So you can double click in personal and you can see we have no certificates here so that means the group policy is not being pushed and then likewise if we check the computer uh, when was this issued that's an old one so that one's not relevant so that it's not being pushed so what we can do there's two things we can do we can either do a GP update on the actual device itself or we could push the group policy updates from uh, the server itself so we'll just on the machine we'll do a GP update and that will update the policy we'll just give that a while to do that so we can see that the computer update uh, has been successful and also the user policy update has been successful so if we just um, go back into these and if we can give them a refresh there now you go you can see now that our lab PC has been issued uh, with a uh, computer certificate today's date 
But if we click into that, we can see that that's uh, issued by our server. You can see the certificate path there as well. And likewise, we should now be able to see the user certificate. So if we just refresh that as well, you can see now that, yep, there you go. So uh, this user, Kelvin Charles, has been given a certificate um, as well. And as the, so you can see it's been issued by the server. And you can see the subject includes the email address. Uh, and all these were selected in the certificate template settings as well. So again, like I say, you can modify these to uh, what you want uh, in the certificate templates. Um, our intended purpose, again, you can um, select that. So we change that, if you remember, in the uh, certificate template to add server authentication, client authentication. And then you've got the, the other default ones out there. So that's essentially how you create user and computer certificates and enable auto enrollment for those uh, certificates. There's one last thing. Um, if we go back now to our certificates though, or our CA, we should be able to see under issue certificates we can see that we've got under issue certificates we can see that we've got um, issue certificates now for uh, for the machine so you can see here lab PC it's been issued and this one should be the user one uh, yep yeah, there we go so that's issued to Kelvin Charles and you can also see computer modified templates being used and the user modified templates being used in that respect so yep yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, found it useful, please do like. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to drop those in the comments section as well. Please show your support by uh, subscribing. And if you are interested in the other videos that I do regularly post on my channel, please do hit that notifications bell so that every time I upload a new video, uh, you, will be, you will be notified of that. There is a follow-on video to this, uh, which is going to be more focused around uh, Cisco ICE and authenticating users and computers using EAP-TLS with the certificates that we've just created and issued to our machines. Um, so do look out for that on my channel if that is of interest to you. And as I said earlier before, I do have a another video uh, that's posted in relation to server 2012 r2 but the process is is the same uh, this is essentially just a, an updated video uh, using server 2019 thank you for watching